Good evening, folks. Welcome back to 365 Dad. Tonight's menu is brown sugar garlic chicken made with chicken thighs. All right, folks, we have chicken thighs, apple cider vinegar, salt, pepper, cayenne pepper, brown sugar, minced garlic, and chicken stock. That's all we need for this meal. We're going to start by browning the chicken, browning up the garlic, and then adding in basically the rest of that. We'll see how this meal turns out. We're going to start off here by browning the chicken, and to do so, we're going to go ahead and turn the Instant Pot on to saute. We'll add two tablespoons of olive oil. So there's one. Oh. And two. All right, I'm going to have to refill my olive oil. All right, we'll let that get hot, and in the meantime, we'll go ahead and season our chicken thighs. So we're going to do a little bit of black pepper here. Yes, this is how I tend to season everything. If you can't trust yourself not that too much, go ahead and measure it out at a little bit at a time. So, now I'll flip these over because we want seasoning throughout the entire chicken. So these chicken thighs were supposed to be bone in with skin. The issue with that for us is my wife does not like bones, eating around them in a meal whatsoever. It completely turns her off on it. Same with having skin on the chicken. Sorry guys, I was checking on the boy outside. Um, same with having the skin on the chicken. Where the bone would be where you're going to place up and the skin side's going to go down. So I just, all I did is there is a deboned chicken breast and we're going to roll them. And where there's no seam, that's going to be the side that goes down. If you're an individual who does not like eating around the bones as well, or you have a picky eater in your family, you can buy them already boned and skinned, or you can buy them whole, in the sense that there's a bone and skin, and just take the bone out yourself. That was my game plan, but I didn't do the shopping that evening. My wife did. So this is what she decided to pick up. Doesn't break my heart. That's less work that I have to do. So we're going to brown this up just like you would if the skin was on there. Flip it around using the pair of tongs. Alright, now that we've browned the first side, let's go ahead and flip these. Maybe. I could actually, you can see that color, go for a little bit more browning on this. So, now that we've checked one, we will go ahead and let these all finish browning. Okay, we're back. Let's check how these have browned up. Oh, there we go. That's much better. Don't know if y'all can see that, but it's a nice golden brown. So I'm going to turn it to the bottom side. Oh yes, all of these did a fantastic job. Some of them are sticking, but that's probably because I may not have added quite enough oil. I was pushing the limits on that. Okay, now we're going to brown the bottom side and I'll show you that. Alright, so let's see how the bottom side is browning up. Oh no, it's sticking. It browned up well. Not great, but hey, there's no bone, so it's not a flat surface. So I'm going to move some of this around and make room to add the garlic. We're 
going to saute that garlic up in the juices and left oil, left oil, oil, left over oil. Excuse me, if I could speak. Mm, I love when garlic is being sauteed. It makes the whole house smell good. I'm going to get some of that garlic underneath this chicken. Okay. And let me see what the recipe says. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and deglaze the pan with the half cup of chicken stock. And I did add my, I believe it was a half tablespoon of apple cider vinegar into the stock. I'll go ahead and add the rest of that. We add the brown sugar. I feel like that's going to be super uber sweet. I do not want to have to eat out two nights in a row. We did end up eating pizza last night because of that awful, awful shrimp scampi we tried to make. I tried to make. Okay, I got that all mixed in there. Then it says to add a few dashes of cayenne pepper. I'm going to go a little light-handed on it. Because, once again, my wife does not like spicy food. I know y'all feel my pain for having a picky eater in my house. So, I feel your pain if you have one as well. Okay, I'm going to add a little more salt to the whole mix, and I'm going to add a little more pepper as well. I think that needs a touch more salt. There we go. Alright. Now I believe we need to put the lid on and cook the chicken in the pressure cooker. Yep. We need to put the lid on, close that, and go pressure cooker and take it down to eight minutes. There we go. That is all there is to this meal. Now I'm going to go ahead and make some mashed potatoes and some sort of vegetable to go with it. So I went ahead and pulled the chicken out. And the sauce is still very thin. There's the lovely chicken breast, or chicken thighs, excuse me. So the sauce is thin. So I'm just going to simmer that down until it makes a nice thicker sauce that I can actually put over the chicken. And add to the mashed potatoes. Alright folks, so the chicken went ahead and finished at five minutes. I did the quick release with the vent, opened it up and found stock was still super soupy, say that three times fast. So I'm going ahead and reducing it now and I'll give it a stir, see if I like the thickness. Still not quite there. Sorry I didn't show y'all pulling the chicken out. I got a few pieces that I haven't plated up yet. They do look very good. Paused it, Jameson. All right, so dinner is served, and it's time to see what Mom thinks of this dish. She was very leery of it, because she doesn't care for meats being sweet. So because she doesn't like super sweet meats or sweet meats in general, she elected not to have the sauce on hers. So I love mashed potatoes. Um, if mashed potatoes were a food group, I'd be all about that life. Look at me, Jameson. I think he agrees with that. <clears throat> well, she's going back for more. So, I did not grow up eating anything but chicken breasts, so... 
this is kind of a new experience to me, but the chicken has a good flavor. Um, it's very moist. Um, I eat chicken legs, but I think this is maybe the second time I've eaten chicken thighs. Um, so it's a new experience for me. But basically everything on this plate, corn, mashed potatoes, chicken, are my essential food groups. So, um, yeah, I enjoy the chicken. Um, I think I would like the chicken with the gravy just because of the mashed potatoes. Um, but I did try Justin's gravy or sauce and it was just too sweet for me. So, um, it had good flavor, but it is, it is very sweet. So, um, I will just enjoy my mashed potatoes and my chicken without my sauce. All right, folks, my turn to dig in. See if I can get this chicken cut. Oh, that is super soft. The sauce is sweet. I do pick up the cayenne in it, which is nice to offset the sweetness. Um, I don't get any of the flavor of the garlic, though. Which probably is a good thing, because sweet and garlic was an odd mixture to me anyways. And we weren't real sure if we were going to like that combination. This meal was very easy to cook. <clears throat> flavor overall is great. Um, the sauce is sweet, but I did reduce it quite a bit. Uh, yeah, I'd probably give it a four and a half out of five stars. Not much I would change except for maybe the boys moving around. Uh, instead of doing three tablespoons of the sugar, brown sugar, I would probably drop that down to one or two. And kind of go from there. I did only do a half cup of chicken broth. So maybe going up to that three quarters to one cup would be best. But yeah, I'll play around with this again and write another review and what I would change. Thanks for tuning in to 365 Dad. Have a great night.